Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The importance of precision guided bombs has been realized from the ongoing Russia Ukraine conflict. Russia has been heavily relying on its either low cost unguided bombs or super expensive missiles to target the Ukrainian military assets. The unguided munition lacks the precision which causes heavy collateral damage and limits the air force capability to provide close air support for their forces. Fighter jets are forced to fly low for bombing, making them an easy meal of manpads launched missiles. On the other hand, the air or land launched missiles could be expensive affair and unsustainable in the war that is stretching for long. This is where the air force need precision guidance kit to convert the low cost dumb bombs into a precision strike weapon which can be launched from a very long stand of distance. Recently, we have informed our viewers that Indian Air Force is integrating JDAM or Joint Direct Attack Munition Kit to its bomb for LCA Tejas. JDAM is a guidance kit developed jointly by US Air Force and Department of Navy. This can be integrated with 500, 1000 or 2000 pound warhead as the payload. It guides the bomb through GPS aided inertial navigation system present in its tail unit which gives it an accuracy of less than 5 meter if the GPS guidance is used and 30 meters when GPS is denied. It also enables bomb to be launched from a standoff distance of 80 kilometers. We also know that DRDO's lab ARD has also developed precision guidance kit very similar to JDAM in terms of capability. Like JDAM, it also uses GPS aided inertial navigation system in its tail. It also has additional GPS guidance kit in its nose extension kit making it further jam proof due to use of dual GPS. Now as for the latest updates, Indian Air Force has requested for information for 500 long range guidance kit with warhead from Indian vendors under DAP 2020. But then obvious question is why Indian Air Force wants a new guidance kit when we have JDAM from America and one from DRDO. To understand this, you need to look into the technical details of new guidance kit which is going to be much better and advanced than what is there in JDAM or DRDO's guidance kit. So let's get started. Now if you look at the operational requirement of new guidance kit, it is intended to increase the standoff ranges of the warhead. The long range guidance kits may be used the glide or boosting technique to enhance the standoff ranges. Sensors will be based on satellite navigation system, imaging infrared seeker IIR and laser to improve the accuracy of the guidance at the impact point of the warhead. The integration of IIR seeker and laser is what going to make the new guidance kit far superior to JDAM and DRDO's existing guidance kit. The long range guidance kit with warhead will be used against soft targets such as bridges, roads, communication centers and hard targets such as bunkers and underground facilities which are located deep inside the enemy territory. The long range guidance kit with warhead will be installed on fighter aircraft of Indian Air Forces using a standard suspension system. Now let's look into the requirement of Indian Air Force for the long range guidance kit and warhead and their timelines of delivery. The 560 long range guidance kit with warhead are required on immediate basis with a long term requirement of approximately 1500. The anticipated delivery timelines for the first off production model will be within two years from the date of award of the contract. All the deliveries for immediate quantities will be completed within five years from the date of award of the contract. The guidance kit should be compatible with Rafale. LC Tejas and Mirage 2000 aircraft of the Indian Air Force and carrier based fighter jets which are present and will be procured in future for Indian Navy. The guidance kit should provide a minimum standoff distance of 60 kilometers. The guidance kit and the warhead should be compatible with 250 kg caliber bomb pylons in the existing aircraft of Indian Air Force. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector